Rising tackle! Teach you to jump. See, this is what I'm used to. It's Capcom versus SNK because we don't actually have Capcom versus SNK. Are you okay? Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Terry is in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate here on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna be playing on this GameCube controller. It seems that they've decided to give him more command-based attacks, a bit like the original games he comes from. Now he's right here. These are my A moves. We've got a bit of a auto combo here. Power wave, tilt attacks, up tilt attack, down. My smash, ho ho! So obviously with your smash attacks you've got forward, up, down, rise and tackle with up B, yeah! Down B, power dark, power dark, yeah! Goodbye! And then if I press side and B, burn knuckle! Whoa! So it seems that he is just like Ryu. He's always facing the opponent in one-on-one. -on -one. With most Smash characters, they actually change directions. When you press back, they actually w look the opposite direction and they run away. But with Terry, Ryu, and Ken, it seems that they are always facing their enemies. Now, I'm using a GameCube controller, so I'm actually finding it a little bit difficult to do this, like, as an instant air. But if I press, if I press jump, jump and power wave at the same time, or jump and B at the same time, can do that right off the air. So let's try these command moves. What are they? Power up the move. What? The strength of the attack can change depending on how long you hold the button. Oh, I see. Wait a second. So if I tap it, it's slower. Yeah, and if you hold it down, it's faster. All right, so if I do burning knuckle just like this, I get 15.6. And if I hold it down, yeah, it does about one extra damage. So if I do down, down, forward, forward, and attack button, we'll do even more damage. If you charge up the rising tackle, you get more damage. Interesting. This is burn knuckle. 19.3. And if I do an attack, if I do an input, I do 23. So let me just double check this. Crack shoot. 13.7. With the input, 16.4. What about the other one? Rising tackle, 19, but if I charge it, whoops, 1, 2, 21, charge, 22, what else have I got, power dunk, power dunk is 16.8, how do I do the other version of power dunk, shoryuken, alright, shoryuken, shoryuken, nope, that's not it, 18.9, so I assume that I can be like, crouching, shield, and then, Still charging up for this. Uh, okay. Right, so attack all. So I want this, right? And then how do I activate the final smash? Just press two buttons at the same time? No? You just press B? Oh, you just press B. I don't even think he can do that in his original games. Does he have any moves that do all three of those things? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, you can throw people down. Forgot that you could do that. All right, so if I do a, a grab down and then a bucking, oh no, it didn't work. Down and burning knuckle, yes. All right, I think that's enough for training mode. Let's play arcade mode or whatever it's called in Smash. Is it called classic mode? I think it's called classic mode. Round one. Ready? Play against Go. Nintendo. Power wave! Power wave! Burn knuckle! Whoa, why does Mario look so realistic? I feel like I'm closer to the screen than usual. Crack shoot! Auto combo! Rising tackle! Charge! Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Burn! Power dunk! Rising tackle! Crack shoot! Rising tackle! Power dunk. Now let's try some actual inputs, shall we? Yeah! Yeah, I'm definitely playing Terry. This guy's amazing. Let's try some of these tilt attacks, shall we? Tilt. Does that count as a combo? I love that they're doing it just like the Ryu, versus the Ryu and Ken stages. Where instead of doing percentages, they're just using HP, just like a, a traditional fighting game. Oh, there's a that's a bomb! Crack shoot! Crack shoot! Burn knuckle! Burn knuckle! Crack shoot! 
Burn knuckle! Or, or whatever that's called. Rising, rising tackle! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Rising tackle! Let's do the throw again. Throw, down. Oh, smash the back. I'm all about Terry. Man, this is awesome. I always felt like if I wanted to learn Smash, I would learn a proper Smash style character. But honestly, the most fun I've had in Smash so far has just been playing <laughs> Street Fighter style characters. Yes, I'm aware that this is not a Street Fighter character. I'm just saying. Rise and tackle! Crack shoot! Burn knuckle! Oh, I pressed A for that. Does it still work? Oh! Oh, I see. You can press any button you want when you're using inputs. So you don't have to use B. What? Does that mean I can just use A for everything? Interesting. Oh, okay. That changes everything. Does that mean I can instant air my power geyser? My uh, power guy. Like, wait, wait a second. Whoa! Maybe I can't. I can't figure out how to do it. I'll try, I'll keep, I'll keep trying it. Because if I don't need to press a jump button... Oh, wait. I haven't set up to jump. It's really weird. Because normally in the original King of Fighters games and, and Fatal Fury games, it was down, back, punch to do one move and down, back, kick to do crack shoot. So I'm like trying to do different, <laughs> different things now. Getting a little bit confused. Uh, what is this jetpack for? Oh, it's for flying. Oh, dude. Why did I think it was going to be a gun? How do I get rid of a weapon? There it is. <laughs> I don't want this. I want to use Terry moves. Here we go. Rising tackle! Charge! Rising tackle! Charge! Charge! Rising tackle! Whoa! Rising tackle is the best move ever. Why did I say that? I just really like it. I feel like your up B is an important move in this game, huh? Again, I don't play a lot of Smash, but from the few minutes that I'm playing of it right now, I'm feeling like this is probably kind of an important move. Ready? All right, Sonic, let's go. Power wave. Oh, it's not power geyser. It's power wave. Wait, does that mean I've got my super? And if I have got super, how would I even do it? I don't have a gauge, do I? Hold on, move list. Yeah, yeah, I've got super specials. You can use powerful specific command input moves after taking significant damage. Criteria for using a super special move. Accumulated damage is more than 100% and stamina remaining is one third or less. So let's try power geyser, shall we? Down, back, down, forward. Well, first I need to lose a bunch of HP. No, this, this is a bad idea. I'll just try it later. Yo, we're on the roof. Oh no, I've got a bomb on me! I don't get rid of that! Oh no, I've got 2 HP! Help, help, help! Now I can do my super special move! Buster Wolf! Power Geyser! I did it! Sick! When I needed it most, I was able to use it. I just realized, I said, wait, I've got no HP left! Now's the time! Ready? This game's Go! Whoops. The only thing is... It's not a fighting game, and so holding back does not block. I need to get used to that. Oh, it's got the geese music! Sick! This might actually be one of the best versions of Terry ever. Even outside of a, an SNK game. He's like more agile and more usable than in any... Oh, I see! It says go next to his name when you're allowed to do those moves. Okay, so it all makes sense now. Because he's got the platform jump, like the Mario style jump, because this is basically a platform game. A platform fighting game. He's kind of he's kind of more fun than he's ever been before. Burn knuckle! Burn knuckle! <laughs> Complete. It's all very satisfying, audibly and visually. Oh, time to play against Ready? Street Fighter characters! Go! Ah, Tatsumaki! Burn knock! Oops. Burn knock! Eh? Oh, so I keep saying burn knuckle when I'm trying to say rising tackle. Rising! Rising tackle! There we go. Crack shoot! Power dunk! Power dunk! Crack shoot! Rising tackle! 
teach you to jump. See, this is what I'm used to. Fighting game. It's Capcom versus SNK because we don't actually have Capcom versus SNK. <laughs> this is this is how we get Capcom versus SNK by playing a Smash game of all the places. Whoa! What is the wall bounce? Burn knuckle. Burn knuckle. I have to admit, I'm not really doing any sort of neutral fitzy type work. I'm literally just. <laughs> Whoa! Which one am I? On that one. No, miss. Is he gonna do a super? No. Oh, I can go. Bro, power, power gazer, power gazer. Oh, I missed. No, 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 super, super, super. I missed. Yes, I wanted to win with the super. Are you okay? Blaster Wolf! Is he saying Blaster Wolf? He's saying Buster Wolf, isn't he? I don't know, but in my mind, all the things that Terry says are a little bit mangled up because as a kid, it, it, it just the sound files were so low quality that it, it, you could never really be sure what they were saying. Have I finished? Was that the boss? So the boss is you just play Capcom versus SNK. <laughs> Sakura's like, yeah, I mean, my, my game's not even really important. Just play Capcom vs. SNK is what he's saying at the end. Since Capcom and SNK aren't going to make Capcom vs. SNK for you, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> That's what you call taking the game into your own hands. Where's the music player? Sound? Fatal Fury series? Does anyone recognize this? Oh, whoa, they've got geese from, FF, from KOF 14 as well. So many good tracks. 99? Oh, so this was their track, was it? I just heard this music all the time. I wasn't really sure which team actually owned this track in 99. Oh man, that's so cool that I can listen to KOF 99 music while playing Smash. It's true, there literally are 50. F There's Metal Slug tracks? Samurai Showdown? This is so, so cool. They've got the Kyo music from KOF 14, what? How many versions of Isaka do we have? <laughs> Kusanagi Kyo music. So if you're actually watching this video and a lot of this, you're like, who is Terry and what is all this music? Then you've got a really exciting world and experience ahead of you because you're gonna be able to end this video and go and watch tons of old King of Fighters games, play, I'm sorry, play tons of King of Fighters games, Fatal Fury games, you've got a whole world of really exciting stuff to try out. Controls, so other settings, stick jump. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's much easier. All right, so what I really wanted to know was because, because B is power wave, and if you press jump and power wave at the same time, you can get sort of like a really low, but in the air, power wave. But I don't want to do this with my hands and I can't really be bothered to change my control scheme to have these flipper buttons be jump. So now if I use up to be jump, which is a lot like a standard fighting game, it kind of makes more sense for me as a, as a fighting, coming from the King of Fighters, Street Fighter space, it makes more sense for me. Plus, if I just tap up and then press B, and get an instant air sort of power wave like that. <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to be useful. I assume I can do an air burn knuckle. Yeah! You can do instant air burn. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, definitely I want to play with up as jump because now I can do instant air kick crack shoot. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if, you, if you're really good with your buttons, if you're really good with your buttons, you could do jump back B like this. So jump and then back B. <laughs> this game just got so much more interesting to me. Maybe I should start playing fighting games with my GameCube controller. It's actually quite nice. The only thing is that the, the buttons are a bit weird for Street Fighter. I wouldn't want to play Street Fighter with this weird whatever this is. 
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Terry Bogard in King of us because in King of Fighters in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This is definitely the coolest character I've played so far in Smash. Not because I think he's actually a really great Smash character. Clearly, this guy doesn't play Smash the way that everyone else plays Smash. But as a as a fighting gamer who grew up with King of Fighters and Fatal Fury and have loved Terry for a very long time. It is so cool to be able to play him in Smash and be able to play him against Ryu and Ken in Smash. So we've essentially got Capcom vs SNK in 2019, but not not in not not in a Capcom or an SNK game. It's in a it's in a Nintendo game. It's in it's it's in Smash Bros. of all games. It's absolutely bonkers. I'm I think the coolest thing as well for me is being able to hear 50 SNK music tracks in a Smash. Sorry, I, I guess I'm just ending every sentence the same way. Like in a Smash game, it's just hilarious. Since I'm not really that into the Smash Bros. style of of gameplay, it's kind of cool for me to be able to play a character in a way I'm more familiar with. Like being able to use the command inputs to get more damage and just to play a character who's always facing my opponent. He automatically switches direction so he's always facing that direction. All right, do it, Terry. Buster Wolf! You do not get cooler than Terry. Like one of the main concerns about Switch when it came out was that it was going to be this underpowered hardware and it's not going to be able to compete with all the other consoles because it's kind of a handheld and so it's got to use like a mobile processor. But look at this! Terry looks absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna give you another, another zoom in on. It looks amazing. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links, and all that great stuff. Again, I'm not a I'm not a professional Smash player. I'm just really excited that one of my favorite SNK characters of all time is in Smash, and it's definitely since I've been playing. I played Ryu and Ken the other day with with a friend, and it's like it's definitely a really fun feeling to play like a fighting game but within Smash, which is its own kind of fighting game, but obviously a very different kind of fighting. It's a platform fighting game. So anyway, yeah, don't forget to join the Discord as well. If you're not already a member, there should be a link below. And if there's not a link below, it's on my Twitter somewhere. Join the Discord where we can chat about gear and Smash and fighting games and controllers and all that great stuff. And even talk about Japan as well. I'll see you all in the next Nihongo Gamer video.